Professor the Honourable Dame Mari Bashir, Professor Burke, Mr Edmonds and distinguished guests, I feel extremely privileged to be the recipient of this generous research award from the Brain Foundation, which will enable the uh, fulfilment of our project and, and is a, a really great move forward for our unit. And, and I wholeheartedly thank you for your support. This current project evaluates the way in which abnormal electrical activity impacts uh, and causes two uh, common conditions in neurological practice, epilepsy and neuropathic pain. And the reason that we can study these two disorders in tandem is that in both situations, aberrant pacemaker activity and abnormal nerve excitability is implicated possibly through a similar mechanism, through a similar current, the HCN or the IH current. Severe chronic pain costs the Australian health economy approximately $34 billion per year and on a global perspective uh, has a health impact nearly equivalent to that of heart disease or severe mental illness. Chronic pain sufferers attend their primary care physicians almost time, five times uh, as frequently as uh, patients without chronic pain and there's a critical need for further research in chronic pain uh, diagnosis and management. Epilepsy affects between 1 and 3% of the adult population and the morbidity that, that patients with epilepsy experience is not just through seizures but through the injury sustained during seizures, through lifelong cost of medication use, side effects from medication, loss of licence and loss of time uh, on work. And uh, further evidence that suggests that we can study these uh, diseases in tandem is that we know that many anticonvulsant medications are effective in neuropathic pain and also that animal models that have seizure disorders can also have neuropathic symptoms. We hope that the outcome of this project will aid diagnosis and better define these conditions and translate into more effective managements for the patients. From a personal perspective, the association uh, with the Brain Foundation is very personal because when I returned from four to five years in the UK and, and the US in doing my PhD, it was through a bridging grant from the Brain Foundation that in, enabled me to obtain pilot data for a project that went on to secure a project grant from the NHM and NM, NMRC. That's work subsequently being published in Brain, and this new project is derived from that work which was originally supported by the Brain Foundation. So I'm well aware of, of what the Brain Foundation can do to support uh, research in its infancy, and I'm very grateful for this award.